Pikadilyong sayote at patatas with steak and shrimp. Enjoy everybody. Let's uh, peel the vegetables first, okay? I wear gloves every time I peel sayote because um, makati. Okay. Now let's cut this into thin strips. Cold water. And one onion, medium size. Tomatoes, two large tomatoes. Okay, instead of using ground pork, I am using beef, all right? I think I will use three pieces of um, steak here. Okay, let's uh, add four tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using a wok. This is what I'm gonna do first. Ang gisadong sayote po, er, picadillong sayote or uh, picadillong patatas usually comes with ground pork. But I don't want ground pork in my dish, so I'm using beef, right? So let's brown the beef first. I will season the beef with just a pinch of salt while I'm browning it. Kung mapapansin nyo, everybody, the bubbles dis, um, disappeared because right now, tinutos niya na yung beef. What's left is the uh, oil because the liquid from the beef disappeared, alright? After seven minutes, let's remove. You can actually cook it more if you want it to be browner, but I think this is good enough for me. I am removing the beef cubes from the wok. What's left behind is just a tiny bit of oil. I will use this. I will adjust the heat to medium. I'm now adding the onions, followed by the tomatoes. Okay, that's three minutes. Now let's add five cloves of garlic, mince. After about 30 seconds, I will add back the beef because the beef um, cubes are not tender yet. So let's um, cook it more. I am now adding two cups of water. You can use broth, chicken broth, beef broth, pork broth. Let's also add fish sauce or patis. This is three tablespoons of fish sauce, everybody. But I will only use about two tablespoons of fish sauce and I will taste it later and see if it needs more. Adding a pinch of ground pepper. That's like half a teaspoon. And I will color. So after two minutes, all right, it's boiling now. We will add the vegetables. So let's start with the potatoes. You know what I'm gonna do is I will cover this and I will cook the potatoes for about a minute over high heat before I add the sayote. Okay, after a minute, now let's add the sayote. It needs more patis, so I will add the additional one tablespoon of patis. 
Now, I will adjust the heat to medium. I will cover these and we will cook it for maybe five minutes until the vegetables are soft. Let's check if the sayote is already soft. I know the patatas is, but... Five minutes! The sayote is about 90% soft, but what I'm gonna do is I will add now the shrimp. And I will turn off the heat because the shrimp does not take that long to, to cook. Actually, I'm just using the carry over cooking. I will now cover it, put the lid back, and allow the carryover cooking to cook the um, sayote, about 10 more percent, and also the, the shrimp, and then we're good to go. Picadillong sayote at patatas with steak and shrimp. Enjoy everybody! Okay everybody, I hope that you are enjoying the videos that I am posting. As for me, I'm having a wonderful time. I promise marami pa po tayong uh, ulam at matamis na pagsasamahan. Come and visit me again if you're watching this on YouTube. Can you click the uh, like and also subscribe? And if you don't mind posting a nice comment for me to read, Ay, that would make me happy. Again, si Ron Bilaro po ito. Until the next cooking video. Bye everyone.